My name is DJ DNA, and I'm about to show you how to stream metadata to an internet radio station while DJing with Serato on a Mac. Let's go. So I'm about to show you how to stream metadata, which is the artist's name and the song title, to internet radio station while DJing on Serato while using a Mac. I've been trying to figure this out for like the past five years. I'm the owner of TTT Radio Network. I've been streaming on radio for almost five years. And um, it's something that I just figured out how to do. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it because I know I can't be the only one out here. I haven't seen any videos, uh, haven't read any articles on how to do this. So I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing that we're going to need to do is download two different softwares. And they're both free. So let's do that. So the first one that <laughs> but I'm laughing because of the name of the program and I'm thinking about things that I'm going to say and it's going to come out crazy. So don't, so don't judge me, but we're going to have to download a program called But, B-U-T-T. But don't go searching B-U-T-T on Google because you already know what's going to come up. You got you to gotta search uh, broadcast using this tool. It's right here. B-U-T-T, -T, broadcast using this tool. What this is, is it's an encoder that connects your audio interface to internet radio. That's what Butt does. And like I said before, I'm, gonna I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to download this Mac OS X disk image. And it's automatically going to download. The download is going to start. It's going to pop up right here. Um... I, I don't, I already downloaded it. So just go through the download process, however you download software. And uh, that's, but that's one software that we need. We need. So uh, I'm going to go back to Google and I'm going to download the other software that we need. And that's called Now Playing 2. So search Google Now Playing 2 and then it's the top link. You click that. And what this is, so Serato doesn't store your track list history on your computer. They actually store it on their website. And this software right here goes and gets it from that website and stores it back on your computer. So you can stream metadata using this software from any one of these DJ softwares. Pretty cool. You're going to need to download this program right here. So like I said, it's the Mac version. I'm going to download the Mac. So download that. I've already downloaded it. It's going to be right here. When it's done, open it. Download it like any other program that you download. And um, yeah, I'm going to close out the internet. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open Serato. So inside Serato, there's a something that we have to do in order for our track data to go to Serato's website. So come up here to the settings, open up your settings, and come over to Expansion Packs. Hopefully you have Serato Playlists. If you do not have Serato Playlists here, you got to figure out how to get Serato Playlists. And then uh, once you get Serato Playlists, come back to this video and make sure that you enable Serato Playlists and enable live playlists make sure they're both checked and then you can close the settings now this next step is super important that if you have a mixer or you have a controller that you have it plugged in and turned on because if you don't you won't see the start live playlist button you have no idea how long it took me to realize that i had to have my mixer plugged in for this button to come on otherwise it, it doesn't work because once this button gets here and you click it, it opens up a web page that you need. So click yes. That's literally just letting you know you're about to go to the internet. It brings you to this page, and you're going to start live playlists. Now, when you start this live playlist, it's automatically going to have it private. So we need to make it public. In order to make it public, you got to come up down here to edit details, click this, and then click public right here, right above private. And then none of this stuff really is gonna matter. 
You don't have to fill out any. I mean, if you really wanted to, I guess you could. I, I have never, and it works just fine. I just save changes. Now, right here where it says Serato Playlist by DJ DNA CT, I'm DJ DNA. I'm from CT. This is my screen name across the board. I mean, from TikTok to Xbox Live, DJ DNA CT, add me on TikTok, add me on IG, add me on Facebook, Xbox Live. It don't even matter. But I'm going to show you how to change that because... If you don't change it, if you're looking at it right now, yours is probably a bunch of numbers. And we're going to need this. It's best if we memorize it. So I'm going to show you how to change your display name on Serato's website. Come up here to the top right uh, where this little guy is and click account. Then you're going to come down here to display and DJ name. Your display name is the name that you need to change. I suggest that you make it whatever your DJ, your screen name is on a, your username on most platforms. Like I said, mine is DJ DNA CT across the board. Follow me. But um, yeah, so I would make that something super easy because we're going to need to remember that to put it in now playing. All right. So save changes. Booyah, booyah. And uh, I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to minimize it. Not going to close it. Going to minimize it. All right, so now I'm going to open up Now Playing. All right, so it's going to auto-detect whatever software I'm using. And uh, it, it detected Serato, which is working, it's working perfectly already. One of the first things we're going to do is um, change the username inside Now Playing. So you're going to come down to the bottom here on the left and click the Settings button and come over to Serato. This right here is where you're going to put that display name. You see how mine says DJ DNA CT on all platforms? <laughs> no, but um, that's where you're going to want to put that. Make sure that you enable Serato Playlist because this is what's going to make it read from the website. It's going to go from your computer, from your software, to the website, back to the software. Okay? So make sure that your username is the same as your display name on Serato's website. And then um, this line right here where it says track list template, you're going to have more stuff here than I do because I already deleted the stuff. If you don't delete that stuff, when you go to play a song on the radio and it shows you the song title, it's literally going to have the date and the time. Uh, it's going to have all the metadata. We don't need all the metadata. We just need the artist name and the title. So I would just... You know, delete everything until it looks just like this. Because if you have it just like this, it's literally just going to do the artist name and the artist title. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click this little square button with, like, the pencil inside or whatever that is. We're going to click that. Psych. We're not going to click that. We're going to click the little play button. <laughs> this top one. So now what you're going to need to do is come over here to open history. And it's super important that none of these are selected. Make sure everything is clicked off. Once you know it's clicked off, come up here to File and Add to Sidebar. That's all you got to do. All right? So now there's that. Now that we're done inside now playing, we're going to go inside. <laughs> but... I. Why they name that so why they name it that? Find wherever you downloaded uh but and open it. I'm just gonna run through here real quick and just um you know just let you know what the settings are. So this main tab is gonna be your server settings. Uh if you're streaming the internet radio, this is where you're gonna put your credentials. You gotta put the URL, the port, your password. All of that in there. I don't know what yours is. This is what mine is. Um, so, yeah, you got to do that in order to co even connect to the radio station. The next tab you're going to need is the audio tab. This is where you're going to tell but to get your audio. Your audio, you're going to set this to whatever your sound card is, whether you're on a controller or you have a mixer. In my case, I have the Pioneer DJM S7, and um, I got that selected. That's the audio interface that I'm using. And 
you know, yours might be one and two. Your left and right might be one and two. Uh, it might be three and four. I don't know. Mine is five and six. Just make sure you mess with those because it might be different. I, I don't know what yours might be, but you're going to have to get those right. And you're going to know it's right because when you play music, just like you can see uh, where it says uh, the, the levels, you can see my voice coming through my mixer right now. Um, you'll see that it starts moving, so you'll know it'll be right. So the next tab is stream. Okay, I'm actually going to delete this so you guys can see where I get it. Make sure you have uh, update song name from file. Make sure you have it activated and you have read last line first. I did this and for the longest time I did not know that I had to have it read the last line first. I could not understand why. So make sure you have this clicked so you don't run into the issues that I did. So make sure you have both of these clicked. Now you're going to grab the history file so but knows where to read it. And we know where that's at because we added it to the sidebar here from now playing. It's going to be this history.txt file. And you're literally just going to open it. And now it's in there. You set it and you forget it. Oh, all right. Wait, let me go back into the settings. So this isn't necessary, but I'm going to suggest you do it. Whatever audio comes out of but is what it's going to sound like on the radio. So I suggest you make a folder on your desktop that is but recordings and you record yourself talking and playing music so you get your audio right before you go live. And the way you do that is you literally make a folder on your desktop and then you find the folder wherever you put it. And then you just, you open it. But yeah, I suggest you make a folder. Listen to your recordings before you go live. All right, so now I set that. I think we're good to test to see if it's going to play the song title on the radio. All right, so how are we going to do this? First, we're going to check Now Playing to see if the song we play on Now Playing, the song we play on Serato shows up on Now Playing. And um, I think everything is set, if I did everything correctly correctly i'm gonna put this in here push play i actually have the vinyl break on because i don't want them to mute the video so hopefully they don't understand what song it is i'm gonna push play and then i'm gonna stop it real quick let's go all right so let me open up now playing and see if it reads polo g up oh, there it is it just updated right now so that's telling me that Serato and Now Playing are working together. Serato is sending my track history to the website, to serato.com. Now Playing is going to serato.com and grabbing that information and putting it back on my computer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up But and see if But is reading the file from Now Playing. If so, it should say update song name too and it should say be something polo g little baby let's see i'm gonna hit play let's go live booyah there you go that is literally me playing a song let me uh do it real time i'll show you so i'll keep it streaming i'm gonna open serato back and change the song i don't want to get muted so i'm gonna keep the vinyl break on put the volume up and push play. Let's go. It should it should change to BS by Janae Aiko. Let's go. Let's see. Booyah. Look, streaming to the radio station. I'm streaming to my server right there. Connection established right there. Updated song name. And that's how, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you stream metadata to internet radio just like that. Make sure you check out my internet radio station, tttradionetwork.com. We also have our own app, TTTRN, in your app store. We play music 24-7, 365, zero commercials, commercial-free music, DJs from all over the world. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'm out. Let's go.